morning everyone this is ranger rob and welcome to the ranger rob country living channel and today is a busy day because uh sherry's finishing up our lines for today and uh i made a major discovery so what two videos ago i was telling you i was getting the rv ready well apparently <laughs> apparently i needed to uh check the fuel because i have no propane so we went to turn on the heater last night for uh, Jalen staying in our RV and it's like, it's not coming on. What the hell's going on? So anyway, it turns out my propane tanks are empty. So we need to pull those tanks and put them in the truck and get some propane. Oops. Before we do all that fun stuff, uh, got kind of a busy day. Not only do I have to get propane, I have to stop at a little store, pick up a, uh, some buttermilk and some uh, uh, half and half kind of stuff. A um, few things, because I'm gonna make my biscuits and gravy today because today, you know, you guys know that we're caregivers and Sherry's mother is, is in assisted living. A little bit complicated because of the COVID stuff. Anyway, she's be, we're gonna bring her over for dinner tonight. So I thought, Something I know she likes, something easy to eat. So I'm gonna make a chicken. Um, um, it just hit me. <laughs> chicken and dumplings. I don't know why I can't remember that. Chicken and dumplings, that's what I'm making. Anyway, <coughs> uh, out at the garden right now. Gotta check all the water systems, make sure we have no problems. And if everything's cool, I gotta load up some propane tank. All right, stop by the greenhouse. Uh, it's kind of weird I'm not running the fans as heavy because it's much cooler but lots of tomatoes still coming uh, we'll get maybe oh no four or five tomatoes today but we still got a backlog of tomatoes like crazy and right now we got plenty of tomatoes in the gr in the kitchen right now so it can take its time so uh, you got to check the water in the tank for the Dutch bucket system Make sure that the uh, swamp cooler has water and uh, get my other chores done too. All right, guys, everything's looking good in the greenhouse. All the uh, NFT systems are running well right now. Uh, the strawberry towers are fine. So let's go pull some tanks. All right, so uh, walking up to the fifth wheel fifth wheel right now and uh, pulling tanks is pretty easy uh, goes like this make sure the tanks are shut off and uh, they just disconnect by hand right here That's one of them. And uh, it's hard to do with one hand, by the way. And, uh, sorry, this, this uh, fifth wheel has two tanks. Other one's right here. And uh, same, same thing here, make sure the tank's off. guys so I got my tanks and it turns out the high command which is on the lawnmower behind me says we need to get some fuel and uh, been, uh, putting that off too I need to get a lot of fuel but I'm just gonna get maybe two five gallons refilled because what I usually do <coughs> is uh, we have quite a few gas cans and uh towards the fall i make sure all these are filled then i put a additive to it so we have fuel all winter which also covers our generator but i'm gonna go grab two of these and uh uh 
get them filled up so she has extra fuel. Because we, uh, lawn mowing will last maybe another month here for all of our lawns. <coughs> and then, uh, uh, then we, it literally stops. So right now we're burning a lot of fuel because of the lawnmower. But we're not using fuel for anything else. So anyway, I'm going to grab two of these and we'll go get some fuel. All right, guys, we got the truck all ready to go. I would take the puppies, but it's still kind of warm out and I don't want to have them sitting in the truck. So let's go get some fuel. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, I bought $40 worth of propane and $70 worth of gas. Didn't have much to show for it. And uh, we still got Jalen helping us mow over here. So something kind of funny. So that whole patch that she did there, she was so proud of herself. She's like, but it seems like I'm just not getting it down. Turns out she did the whole thing with the blade up. <laughs> Which is something all of us have done. So it was kind of funny. So Sherry and I are out here. We cleaned out the chicken pan and uh, watered down the compost because we filled it up really bad. And the strawberries are doing great. Uh, there's some really beautiful strawberries in here. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you go. Like I said, I'm not getting big quantities this year, but I'm getting a lot. I've always got strawberries out here, so pretty much every morning it's my breakfast. What a terrible thing. And Sherry's been doing a little weeding. And uh, we all get a little more enthusiasm when we know her mom's coming by and she doesn't judge at all, but it just makes us feel better to get the place looking better. So we got very happy chickens. Sherry cleaned out the water, uh, water um, watering tool there anyway. Sometimes it needs scrubbed out. And we're watering our corn right now we're not putting nutrients into it it's just regular water and uh, uh, harvest wise we made a killing yesterday as you saw in the video and uh, yeah and it's a beautiful sparkling day here in Central Oregon <laughs> <laughs> so you play it in the dirt yep. so our goal here is we did get beauty bark set down over on this side so we Sherry's been slowly working this area and Jalen's been helping too uh, getting in good enough shape so we can put beauty bark in here too and it'll help keep the weeds down because they're growing like crazy right now well it looks like Jalen finished her section over here and uh this time she put the blade down, so she might get somewhere. So I don't know if she remembers that she actually mowed this part already. You should never put a bunch of people that are over 60 in charge of a homestead. So, so this only proves to us that 60 year olds should not be running a homestead. <laughs> so I understand that it took you a little longer to do that patch over there. Well, you know, doing it the first time without the blade down took a little bit longer. <laughs> it made a huge difference when I put the blade down. <laughs> so then I had to come over here and double check to make sure. Then she down. comes over here and starts mowing this, and she mowed it yesterday, and she's like, "I think I did this already." You know, I knew I did. I was just trying to remember was the blade actually down yesterday. <laughs> so I figured I better double check. Oh, that's good. Because I didn't get all dirty yesterday, but today I did. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pretty dusty. Well, this one doesn't do. No, too bad. <laughs> hey, I got pretty straight lines over there. I'm getting better at getting straight lines. <laughs> yeah, at our age, straight lines means mowing lawns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Swamp ass. We're up the barn part of a shop. Sherry just Sherry and them just brought this in. So what we do at the end is Sherry, uh, you spray it down. Well, you don't spray it down. You air. We we'll take the air compressor. Air and compressor. And blow everything. So she the dust off. cleans off the dust and then. We have a new contraption that when we get fuel out of our tanks now, we have a new uh, uh, gas pump now that we just put into the tanks and so we don't have to pick up heavy uh, five gallon ga gallons of gas. So it's really nice. Uh, we just picked that up from Amazon and you just put it into the 
tank, but the problem is these these fuel tanks, they cut these screens in them, so I've got to keep pulling them out. But once we do that, uh, we can use them with a little gas pump, and it makes it really easy. Lifts up. Ah, okay. Makes it. <laughs> <laughs> so we we've been trying to show like Jalen all the procedures we do on this stuff. She's such a good sport about all of it, and uh, usually after you get done all in the laundry, you definitely need to take a shower all the dust and stuff so but uh we got to give her credit all right so i wanted to show you this is how our little pump works so you can see we got it down in that tank and it's got just a uh, little batteries in it and it really pumps actually quite fast for just being a low amperage little thing how full do you want it so yeah makes it so much nicer not to have to pick up five gallon Hold on to it. jugs of uh of uh, this, this one. fuel. Well guys, a little later in the day, we got our mo uh, my mother-in-law coming tonight, so we're trying to make her a nice little dinner. We are making, what's the right way to say this, Jalen? Pico, Pico de Gallo, I think. Pico de, de Gallo. Anyway, we're using a lot of our fresh, well, pretty much all of our gardens in there. And uh, I don't think I've ever had Pico de Gallo before, but uh, I can tell right now I'm gonna love it. So it's got basically tomatoes, uh, some of our jalapenos, cilantro. We're gonna put um, onions in it and a little bit of lemon juice. And uh, it's kind of a fresh um, vegetable kind of uh, thing. Chip so and dip. Chip and dip, like yes. Salsa type. <laughs> yeah, like a salsa. And a lot of people know what it is, but uh, uh, the thing is, it's all fresh. And, and when it's like that, especially with our tomatoes, they're delicious. So it's getting there. So uh, we'll be adding onions to it and uh, cilantro and lemon and uh, it'll be all done for some good treats today. Well guys, it's a little later in the day. We're getting ready to, I uh, just cooked up a whole bunch of chicken in the Traeger. We're gonna make some fresh mashed potatoes. I'm making chicken and dumplings today and uh, pretty simple all-American kind of dinner. Uh, Shuri just pulled in with her mom and my mother-in-law who's quite frail and typically what we do they're going to be going around the house showing her the gardens and things and so let's see if we can catch up with them so we uh we brought sherry's mother out to the greenhouse oh, yeah. here just giving a peek <laughs> so everybody can see the say hello <laughs> We always uh, we always give Neva a tour of the gardens, and so uh, she always has some good wisdom for us. So we got a nice tour. They're taking her back out to the car. We're gonna bring her around into the house, and she's gonna enjoy a nice dinner with us. And uh, she just loves to see the gardens and loves to see the greenhouse, and uh, tells us stories about what she's done with this property when they had it. So it's really cool. So uh, yeah, we're gonna let them go get her loaded up and we're gonna have dinner. Well guys, uh, we had a nice dinner with Sherry's mo mother and uh, she enjoyed the uh, chicken and dumplings, came out great, uh, got a nice tour. Uh, we got lots of things done around the property today. And uh, yeah, so not a bad day guys. So uh, I wanna say thank you for watching our show. And uh, welcome all the new subscribers. And please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Sharing is caring. So guys, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.